Previously on our New York series, our trip got to a good start in the East Village. We were vlogging in Little Tokyo with a couple of our favorite content creators, Manny Explorers and Pogi Boy Productions. Vlogging, we vlog, I vlog, you vlog, we all vlog, well, I vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we started off with Sunrise Mart because you know we had to grab some goodies at the local Japanese supermarket. Then we checked out the amazing selection of figures and statues at Toy Tokyo. We tried pancakes and all kinds of Japanese treats at High Collar. And we went to Kenka, a very cool izakaya to try some questionable choices. <laughs> Let's see what else we find. All right, so we're back in Little Tokyo for another video. <laughs> and it's not the same because it's raining. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yep. So what's the plan? I guess we're just gonna kind of like uh, pick up some gifts for a friend and then uh, hopefully go to the Isakaya and have some sake. Sake sounds like a good plan. Yep. We need to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Not how the lyrics go, but uh, that's my rendition of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, filming in there might totally get this video banned. But we encourage you to Google it and check it out. It's an edgy shop packed from floor to ceiling with vintage punk rock apparel and accessories for men and women, among other things. Moving on to East 9th Street to an underground sake bar that we couldn't leave without checking out. Since 1993, Decibel has introduced New Yorkers to the world of sake, shochu, and Japanese whiskey. They proclaim themselves as New York's first sake bar all we know is that it's a little grungy and unpretentious. Our kind of place. Oh, look at that. There's a taco back there. Oh, I see it. That's really badass. And look at us. Oh, the dust from the dust. Yeah, those monster or something. Cheers. What do you get? I got the sacatini. No. Is it any good? Tastes like sake. Tastes like sake, you <laughs> see? I was hoping that the uh, lime would give it a bit more uh, flavor. Uh, try mine. But, but the lime is way subtle. I think mine's better. Oh yeah. The uh, lychee martini is very good because it has that sweetness from the lychee, but it's not it's not overpowering. It's just very subtle as well. To get a, flavor, a bit of flavor to it, it has like you can hardly notice the lime. But it, I mean, it's good because sake is not uh, sake is not an alcohol. It's not like whiskey where it burns going down. So it has a very distinct flavor. Oh, it has lychee. Yeah, I can see it there. Like, Very, very, very good. But I don't 
think that's Scooby though. It's, it's some kind of mayo-y... Aioli thing. Yeah, mayo-y, aioli. Maybe it does have Scooby, but I can't tell. I need Greg to taste that. <laughs> really cool experience like yeah. I've never been to a sake bar that was in a basement yeah so that was really awesome the sake was really good the karage was fantastic the food like, yeah it was good so definitely check it out <sighs> I'm feeling it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was strong sake so we need we need to get more food yeah it was pretty strong let's okay. get more food let's get more food I'm not sure where we'll figure it out Otaisho is a bustling yakitori spot serving signature skewers late into the night. It's fun, loud, and the food is mighty good. Alright, so what did you get? Did I get some strawberry highball. That sounds good. I'm not ashamed. No, that's gonna taste delicious. I like the fruity stuff. <laughs> Cheers. Natural, it has a natural strawberry flavor. So it doesn't taste like artificial. It's awesome. Alright, do some damage. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to walk home if you had four of those. I don't care. So what's it called if somebody comes here and wants to drink it? Thai chocolate. It has pineapple. It has pickles. Is that you call it? A drink? Yeah. Or fried chicken. Because why not? This one looks kind of different though, because the other one, uh, the batter was different, but it was really good. So I hope this one lives up to the name. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> One eternity later. That's really good, booze. <laughs> when you wake up, you play. No! definitely chicken thighs. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so, this is what I got. What did you get? What do you mean, that's what you got? No! Alright, so that's. Shishito peppers, shrimp, sausage, beef, I guess beef meatballs, chicken. and chicken. Alright. I want to try the sausage. Go ahead. I've never had uh, Japanese sausage. I don't think I've had Japanese sausage either. It smells like hot dogs that you make on the beach. Barbecue. Barbecue, grilled hot dog. Yeah, grilled hot dog. But it still has a shell. That's weird to me. Eat it with the shell. I'm not gonna eat it with the shell. Eat it with the shell. Eat it with the shell. I'm not eating it with the shell. <laughs> Yay! I cleaned off most of it. There you go. It's not like Has that like shrimp sweetness, but I don't like the shell. Nice. Beef looks really good. Uh, here we go. Mm. It's nice. It has a bit of chew to it, but I really like the grilled, like the charred bits. It has that smoky flavor. These are really good. Order a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna finish these guys. Since we don't have a Daiso store in Chicago yet, we went bananas with this Tesso Live store. They have a bit of everything and lots of treats for foodies. A great ramen selection, including that fancy Ichiran ramen that everybody's talking about. They also got all of my favorite furikake. That stuff on plain rice is golden. Then, they also have all of the chips. The Kalbi ones are some of our favorite, especially these Hokkaido butter ones. 
You've also got shelves packed full of Kit Kats and Pocky. For the home, they have killer nonstick pans and all the plates for Maria to go wild. <laughs> Needless to say, we bought a few things. And on that delicious note, stay tuned for our next New York video, which is dedicated to all of you young at heart who still love your game consoles, your gigantic teddy bears, your collectibles and Godzillas, anime, and much more. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one.